I was coerced. I came to talk shit. <laughs> I sit down in front of the computer. Yo, it's gonna break down for the level of the page. Like, damn, bro. I just finished live trading for like so for like two out. hours long. I was about to. My brain is fucking toasted right now, bro. I was on the li on a, I was on a live session for like three hours, bro. I was like, nah, I've had enough. I'm gonna go go to the green. What's the green? What you eat after? <laughs> a protein shake, actually, 45 oh. grams of protein. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It feels great. It feels great. Had a nice chest day pump. It's fantastic. Bro, listen, this is the golf fit, bro. Wait, hold up. You gotta wear the Walter Weeks. I think that's what these pants are called. Uh huh. Walter Hagan. And make sure they are size up. The guns. Why? <laughs> oh yeah, bro. I, I got I got pants too big. So we've been getting into golf, and the fits are just different for the golf days. Mm -hmm. But. It only makes sense to get into golf because the Bubba Watson. Exactly, I can't have a bubble. I can't have a Bubba Watson and not play golf. You know what I mean? Makes sense. You need a sponsorship. Makes sense. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Plus, golf is good for networking, bro. Yep. A bunch of a bunch of rich people play play golf. So you pull up, have business meetings on the green, yep. chilling. We crash each other golf carts. I ran over standing the Yo, golf yeah, cart yesterday. I ask you about no, this I did ask random over. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the video. <laughs> well, you know, Stanley is um, a white man at heart, so you know the lawsuit's coming. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. I had to call his lawyer afterwards. Um, 100%. Gonzalez, uh, first name Raul. 100%. 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for a letter from his attorney for damages. Mm -hmm. For broken uh, ligaments, tendons, everything. Yeah, All of the above. I think that's his age. Yeah, it is his age. He is. He, 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 yeah, and he... Bro, he tried hitting me with the old card yesterday. I'm like, you're not in the place to hit me with the old card. <laughs> Fucking 10 years older than me. everybody so in this video you're gonna see me basically do like a small interview with my student Cedric as you guys already know last time I've had what was it two yeah I've had two previous students of the day trading institution which we're gonna be open for we've been open for around like a, uh, a year and seven months and in a year and seven months we've already had two students gone from being in a nine-to-five job to being um, a full-time day trader. The first one was Mitchell, where I think he made $30,000 in a month, something like that, yeah, $35,000 a month, and then he ended up quitting his nine to five job. Then we had Claudio, where he made $45,000 in a month, and then made $45,000 in a day, then quit his nine to five job, and that was in the same year, and now we've had this year so far, I guess like the most famous success story um, from a student of mine has been Cedric, because like, I mean, we have students that are, you know, 20K payouts here, 17K payouts here. Like, just today alone, I had another student, $7,000 payout, which, keep in mind, the investment they make into DTI, they made all of that back plus way more because they're just investing in their knowledge. But this year so far, like, the biggest success story we've had um, inside of the day trading institution has been Cedric. Cedric is a college student who was looking to obviously make some form of income and he was actually a D1 athlete playing basketball but he decided to um, go a completely different route and he ended up making $70,000 last month and got his payout after his profit split for $54,000 and imagine in $54,000 as a college student. So it's absolutely fantastic. So in this video you guys are going to see the mini breakdown or the mini interview that we did with Cedric getting to know him. One thing that I'm gonna be doing every like two months or so, or at least at minimum once a quarter, so I'm gonna be flying down three of my students and getting to hang out with them for the afternoon and the evening, so super dope. Cedric ended up coming with two more students of mine that are inside of DTI. We ended up basically just hanging out. I just, we're literally just providing them with as much value as I possibly can. We were talking business, we were talking trading, we were talking life, literally everything. We did the interview, then later on at night, um, well, obviously, like throughout the day, we showed them around like the warehouse and everything. Then later on at night, we went to dinner and then we parted ways after dinner. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this interview and I hope you guys do get motivated by Cedric's story. Because again, he's been trading for two years and is a college student. He was able to make 70 grand in a month by leveraging a skill set that I taught him. 
Other than that, everybody, the Day Trading Institution waitlist is now open where you guys can go check it out in the link in the description if you wanna potentially become the next top student of mine and come learn from me, become a full-time day trader. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Leveled Up Society podcast where we're here to provide as much value as we can to ultimately help you guys level up. So I'm here today with a student of mine, Cedric, where kind of like we were talking before bro like you don't really you're not really that active in the chat yeah so one day i'm just scrolling through the day trading institutions discord and i'm scrolling through the profit and loss chat and cedric out of nowhere smacks the entire chat with i just got paid fifty four thousand yes, dollars from sir. a funded company how does that feel bro feel good it's bad i've been working for a long time so having that that paycheck showed me like this is real yeah and like i mean i got funded before and i got paid out but it was a big jump, you know? Yeah. So having that money showed me like there's more to come and I'm on the right for path. For sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, you made 70,000 and you kept 54,000. 54, obviously that's after yes. the profit split, bro. And it's just like, when you come to the realization, like that's no joke, you know? Like you made <laughs> multiple people's yearly salaries yeah. in 30 days and that's all because of your own hard work. Yes. So how long have you been trading for, bro? Um, I've been trading for about two years. I found out about trading in 2020 after uh, the COVID break happened when I finished high school. But I really like dabbed into in 2021, my second, um, my second semester in college. Yeah, that's when I really like say, okay, I'm going to really get into it and I like, learn what it is. Because I had a friend in, um, in high school. Yeah, he was doing crypto, forex, and everything. But I always see, I was like, "Hey, boy, that's a scam! Don't do that with the MLM <laughs> company and all that." Yeah, with the MLM see, company. Yeah. yeah, he was trying to recruit people and all that. Yeah, I was like, yeah. "Why are you doing all that, man? You can like get money by yourself, you know?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he started doing the touching a little money with it and everything. And while I was in college, I was like, "I have so much, so much free time on my time, like on my hands and everything." So I was like, "Let's let's let's see what it is." So I started like going on YouTube, Instagram. I found out about like influencers and everything. Yeah. But the way I started, like, I started my own capital. So I opened an account of, like, with, like, $500. Because I already did, like, the demo thing a little bit to, like, March. Yeah. And I started with the 500, uh, $500 uh, in the, uh, what is it called? Hugo's Way. Okay. Yeah. Like, I got lucky the first day. It made, like, 25. I turned, like, 500 to, like, 2,500. Yeah. And then I was like, I don't think it's real. Let me get my money back. <laughs> so <laughs> I took, I, I, I retrieved the 500. I used it. And then I was like, okay. I put 500 and I made 2,500. Let's see if I can take the profit out. I asked them to remove another like 500 and they gave it to me. I was like, so I got 1,500, like, I got, so I got like some money left back in it. So I was like, let me keep trading and see how much I can make from it. Crash that account. <laughs> <laughs> Crash that account. But at least I knew like it's real, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what I did after that is like, then I, I haven't like um, got my stimulus check. When I got my stimulus check, it was like 1,500. Put in our account, turn it to like 30,000. That's I, a lot, bro. Yeah, and I had like a, a, a trip with some friends. So I took the whole thing out, used it and That's everything. Amazing. Yeah, and I probably like came back, like I said, I kept working and everything, saved some money, put some money back. And then from then, it was just burning all the account. Cause then I thought like I was like some kind of genius or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From then, I just started crashing. I would put like 2K here, nothing. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Because for me, especially like, very early on, I never was able to turn like thousand dollars into thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Do you think? And I'm actually glad I never did because I would have just been stuck in a cycle. I feel like at least for myself. Do you think that because you started with fifteen hundred and turning it to thirty thousand dollars, it led to where you are today, or do you think that allowed you to kind of pick up some bad habits? I would say, me. I think I I got some bad habits because like during twenty twenty we were like in a bullish market, like everything was just going up. So like, I start. I was over leveraging. Like when you turn 500 to like 2500, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I was over like crazy, you know. So I'll probably use like a lot of like one, make like a hundred dollars, two hundred, and then I feel like oh, use a lot of five, ten, like with like a super tight like stop loss. And the market just like it was just bullish. So that's how I was making like, all that money and everything. But then when it started like going back to like consolidation, get like the retracement and all that, that's when I was like, I didn't have the knowledge like of market resistance, like super, uh, market structure, support resistance and everything. That's when I was like, oh, I really need to learn what it is like, you know? And I was, I lost so many accounts from that, from now and then like the middle of like 2021 to like 2022, I lost so much money because everything I was making was just going in it. Like I didn't care. Yeah. yeah. So, and I feel like, yeah, 
I lost money, but like it helped me to get where I'm at. Cause of I got course. to the point like I got used to um, the like the numbers fl fluctuating, of course. big or small or whatever. So like even like making like this big payout it was just like when the number was fluctuating, like, I already had my strategy. I already know how I was gonna go about it, and I was able to enter the trade and get out when I need to get out. So yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah. It's a whole journey, you know. It's not like something no, you course. wake up and you just do it. Yeah, like, it you go through time. so many like experiences. And like through them, you just kind of like stack up like everything you need to know about yeah. like the strategy and everything. Yeah. And I mean, all of that, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to use the words that gives you battle scars, but it definitely allows you to learn from the mistakes that exactly. you're going through to ultimately get to where you are today. Yeah. Damn, but you know what? For, be, for being in the markets for two years, you're doing very well. Because mm. you were telling me you're, you got a payout for what, 15000 before? Yeah, my first uh, big payout was a uh, hundred, if it was 16000 I say 15 because like they have to give you the money back for the account. It was a 100k account. It was in April. Yeah. And like I was telling you earlier, like when I got a 100k Belive account, then I purchased another 300k. So while I, was, I got a, when I got a 15k uh, payout, I was working on the 300k and I passed that one. But after like I got a, uh, the 15k, I kind of like, I lost the account because I'm trying to over leverage and make more out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then like, because also I was like, oh, I got the birth of the 300k account on the side. I know I can go back to this one. And uh, I got a 70k payout. Um, so the 50, 50K, 54K payout on the 200K account. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, essentially in your second year of trading, just within two payouts alone, you've realized like almost 70K. Exactly. Which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, in my <laughs> second year of trading, I was not making 70K in a month. Y'all didn't have the profit sure. by then. That's what it is. Yeah. Huh? Y'all didn't have the profit. Yeah, we didn't then. have. We, yeah. I mean, they were, I, I believe FTMO was around. Mm -hmm. But they were probably like just starting. Okay. So we didn't really have like the prop firm industry nowadays. And definitely like the prop firm industry is giving so many people so many different opportunities. Changing lives out here. Yeah, such as yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were able to go on to a prop firm, pay essentially, call it $1,500, two Gs yeah. for a $300,000 account. And you were able to turn, you technically turn $2,000 into $70,000. Yeah. The that's margin a, is crazy. That's literally what you did. <laughs> the margin is crazy. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 which is absolutely fantastic. So you you mainly only trade GJ. Only GJ for right now. Yeah. For now. For now. And you trade the London session. London session, yes. I trade London in New York because I'm in school and uh, this is summer. You know, I have so much free time on my hands, so I trade both of them. But when I'm in school, when like during the school time, I'm only training London. Yeah. Yeah. I always go to class during the day and all that. Yeah, because yeah. you're so you're in DTI. So how would you compare your strategy? To, to my strategy? A lot similar. Because, like, yes, I made a 15K before I joined DTR, but, like, I watched you, like, on YouTube for so long, you know? Yeah. So, to a certain level, like, and I already knew how you trade. But my, my, th my main thing joining DTR was, like, to get the full course, like, in debt, like, go in debt with it. Yeah. Because uh, when I got a course, I went to, like, the past webinar, and it helped me a lot doing, like, with my psychology as well. Yeah, when, yeah. Like, I was trading, like, the 200K account. So, yeah. Because, you mainly focus on support and resistance, you know? Like I was telling you earlier, like you focus on like where like price touch like so many times. Yeah, yeah. And you just wait for price to get there and like enter. Cause like the probability of you winning then is like higher than for you sure. like trying to trade like in the middle of a, a trend or something like that. So for yeah, sure. it helps a lot. So how would you break down your strategy if you were to break down your strategy with GJ? I come around like 1 a.m. on the GM time, on the, the central time. And like I would enter a trade like at 2.30 after the news and like, or like 2.30 to 3 a.m. Cause like, as I, I like my risk reward is like one to three, one to two, and everything. It depends. Cause one thing I figured out about this is like, after the first thirty minute candle of the two hour or the two a.m. candle, like the market open, the candle. market, the, uh, the market, yeah, the London open or whatever, like no matter where I open, where, where I enter, I set up like a, a stop loss of like thirty five pips. And doing my back test, I saw like pass never reached like those thirty five pips. Cause when like after like that first thirty minute candle, when it already picked like where it's going. Often, not like every day, when like the market all like shows like uh, where you want to go, it just go there. Like so, my stop loss is always like 35 pips, and sometimes I will get like one to one, one to two, or like one to three. And you know, GJ one like it's gone, it's gone. So I yeah. like trade like I call I call like 100 to like 200 pips, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's one thing like through the back test I figured out like after that 30 minute candle, if like GJ all like picked up like his direction, I just enter there. I have like my 35 pip stop loss, and I just hold it. After you've already identified the direction. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So out of your $70,000 a day, what would you say was the biggest single trading day that you had? Mm, if I have to look back, 
I think it was like 20 or 25, yeah. And did you kind of like struggle? How did you uh, maintain yourself with your emotions when you had that $25,000 a day? I got to the point like it doesn't, it doesn't affect me anymore, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. I figured it like if I'm risking like, let's say like 10K to make like 20, 30K, like if I lose, I lose. But like if I win, like it's a big win, you know? So my thing, my main thing with like the psychology part of it of holding a trade is just like what I'm risking, I'm willing to do it. You know, because yeah. I know tomorrow, like I can go back and get another account because yeah. I have a birth on my side as well. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and having a birth like help you like with the psychology. Yeah, because like when you have a, you see big big number fluctuating and you have like no money on the side that tomorrow you can get another account. Yeah, that's when like it really mess with you. And like I was saying earlier, like, it's like mainly the experience like on it because I've been trading GJ for two years, so for me to hold until like twenty to twenty five k, it's just like. I know like that's where the price is going, you know, and yeah. also to the fundament fundamentals. Cause, like, I'm that like I'm not too good into it, but like that trade it was like I went back to the fundamentals. I looked, I read a little bit, and I was like, ah, oh, it's thinking. So yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. selling, it's thinking. So I just like let it go. Yeah. yeah. So did you find it a struggle for you to essentially capitalize as much as you did? Cause you made like roughly twenty mm -hmm. or so percent, a little bit over twenty percent on your funded account. Did you struggle at all with the psychological side of the daily risk parameters, the maximum drawdown? No, because the way I see it is like this. Let's say they give like 10% as like a, like 5% like daily drawdown. My goal was just like, I come in, I'm a risk four. Yeah, probably like four in like two, three trades. So I never got to that five. Uh, I know I can come back tomorrow like and do it again. So if I enter like, I take like two to three, two to three trade in like a session, like so, if I lose big, uh, I got to the point I can close my computer and say I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Yeah. So, but the way I do it is like this: since I'm trading London and New York, I will come. I say I'm gonna take two trades doing London. If both trades are lost, I got one more like trade I can take doing New York. So I make sure of that. Like I risk like one to two percent or one percent and a half like doing uh, London, and I come back doing New York and risk like one percent. If it's a win, it's a win. If it's a loss, I just close it. I come back the next day. Yeah. So you allow yourself essentially almost three trades in a day. Exactly. So yeah. would you say you're more of a day trader or a scalper? A day trader, but I'm trying to switch to swing trading because like my account is like I have a big account right now, and I feel like I don't need the headache for me. I don't. I don't see why I need. I don't need the headache to hold a trade. I can come in and get like 35 pips or 20 and just get out. You know, yeah. there's no need for me to hold a trade for like 70 pip and go to all the range and everything, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're, more, you're kind of going more, more towards scalping now. Scalping now, yeah. I'm switching yeah, scalping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. yeah, for me, I mean, I, I feel like I started my trading career swing trading, then I went down to day trading. Now I'm kind of in between day trading and, and scalping. Just okay. Just catching that intraday volatility and that yeah. literally a few candlesticks and I'm done working within like. But you know, hour, like, so. when you get like a, this, like, you know when you have a good entry. When yeah. you have that good entry, you can hold the trade for like uh, another like 70, 50 oh, yeah, pips. For yeah, probably another, yeah. Uh, for, for a bigger like Sometimes when yeah. you trade, you know like, hey, this thing is fluctuating a little too much. Let me just get what I, I can get right now and, and get just out. get out and come yeah. back tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, especially like in the summer conditions. The markets are mm -hmm. super, super choppy. Like today, all day, I was trading um, US 30 today mm -hmm. and it chopped around a bit in the open for maybe like the first 45 minutes of the day. Okay. I was able to catch a pretty nice sized move I got out luckily, kind of like around the top of the yeah. move, and then price dumped all the way back down, <laughs> made lows, and then went all the way back up and continued to yeah. make new highs. So definitely super choppy conditions compared to like quarter one, quarter two. Mm -hmm. But again, that's where trading is summer, you have like, to you know, adapt. Not many people are on the chart right now. That's what it is. And I feel like doing like after like the summer, everything picked back up. Like it's gonna be good, and For that's sure. why like. My main thing right now is like preserving my capital as like until I get back to school, you know? Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want to go back to school and I have to go through the, all the headache of like trying to get funding again. So I make as much as I can right now. And like, and I try, like I told you, I got more challenge coming and everything. I like 600K funded and I'm working on 700, 700K. My goal by the end of the summer is to be funded like 15, uh, 1.5. Yeah. If I had that 1.5, like, funded. yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. yeah. So that's like your short-term goal, just get funded as much as you possibly as can? As much as I can. By the end of the year, I want to have like at least two M's. Yeah. And um, I want to have two M's, but I want on my profit at least like, I want a six-figure account for like my own account, you know? Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm course, looking for. That's what I'm uh, like. When I have that, then I will literally slow down like the funded and just make as much as I can like monthly and just trade my own capital. 
and yeah. the money the money I make on the prop firm just invest in like cash flow businesses and everything. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. I think I literally just made a YouTube video about that topic a few days ago or maybe like okay, last yeah. week where I was talking about like if you want to day trade full time, you know, what you could do in the short term is just get as much funded accounts mm -hmm. as you possibly can and use a lot of that profit to fund your own personal trading yes. account to the point where you can then start opening up other businesses that'll start cash flowing for you. So ultimately you don't have to just like solely rely on off of your trading income yeah. and then your trading income could just be income that you use for investments or if you want to go buy a new toy, mm -hmm. you know, and ultimately I feel like that's the goal a lot of traders want to get at and yeah. I got to congratulate you because you're getting very close to ultimately where you want to be. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's a long way to get there, but I know like I enjoying the pro I'm enjoying the process right now, yeah. you know. Because I feel like that's one thing people like don't understand. Like everybody wanna get the like the money fast, so fast and everything. And one advice I would give people is like, hey, slow down. Like you have to enjoy you have to enjoy the process and everything like you're going through right now because like it's gonna change everything about you. It's gonna change your mindset, it's gonna change the people that you wanna be like you want to be around with and everything. Like it's gonna clearly clean up your circle. So just enjoy the position you are right now and just keep grinding. Like yeah. we are gonna get there. Yeah, for sure. One thing I say about training is like the only people who fail in training is people who quit. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it take you two years, take you like five years, ten years, if you know like you're gonna get there, you're gonna get there. Yeah. Just yeah. keep going. For sure, yeah. for sure. And then like to me it's like it feels like I've only been doing this for a small amount of time, <laughs> but then I really look back and it's been like six years. Yeah. And time just absolutely starts to fly mm -hmm. especially like when you're so focused on like the journey and the process and always trying to level up time is going to fly by very quick yeah yeah no we got it we got it and i'm watching the world right now <laughs> <laughs> all the names and everything we level up i'm like i'm telling you being like in the space and seeing it and touching it not like just watching on youtube like i was saying earlier like it's a whole inspiration it's a motivation yeah you know? yeah, yeah, yeah for sure because like you could see like it realizes everything mm -hmm. for you Exactly. Yeah, and it only motivates you to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to kind of end off the, the little podcast here, what would you recommend for somebody to ultimately make the type of money that you were making from prop firms? What kind of advice would you be able to give to them? I would say, like, to get where I'm at right now, I would say start with, like, when, if you know how to trade, go with, like, a 1500K account. Get you, like, a birth in your bank account. It's going to help a lot. Because, like, you can't say, like, you have nothing and you're going to start making this type of money. Because me, like, looking like I have, like, 15, 20K saved, save, like, in my account, and I'm in school. Like, I'm go, I go to school for free. I don't have no bills, literally. So having that birth like, was able, like, was he helped me, like, being able to, like, hold the trade, you know? Because yeah. some people, like, when they see 5K fluctuating, I see, I see 30K fluctuating, go back to zero to break even. So, yeah. and so many times. So I was, that, that helped me, like, knowing, like, hey, I can wake up tomorrow morning, Go, get, go sit somewhere, get some food. I'm not tripping about anything. So get the buffer first. Like if you know how to trade, get the, get the buffer first and then like go for those big accounts where you can get a big payout. If you don't know how to trade, focus on the skill first. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the main thing. Yeah. So then what you're saying is essentially to build some type of capital to your name first, mm -hmm. then go to a funded company yeah. and just try and get a really big payout to yeah. just build some liquidity. It doesn't even have to be like a live trading account, your account, you know. Just have money in your bank account, not even yeah. like in the trading account. Yeah, yeah, account. of course, of course. Where like, you're not like, I'm not Where you're struggling. you're not stressing. Yeah, you're not stressing about anything. You know like tomorrow morning, like, you can pay your bills, you can take care of who you need to take care of. That thing will help you a lot. For yeah. sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome, bro. Yo, thank you again for it. coming out. I really appreciate it. All the way from, mm -hmm. where was it, Texas again? Texas, Houston. Houston, yeah. Houston. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you for coming out, taking the time out of your day to uh, obviously come on. And hopefully this motivates a lot of you guys because, again, you've only been in it for two years. Yeah. And in your second year, you were able to make a lot of money in a month, which is, not, which is an achievement that not a lot of people can actually make. So you're definitely going to be a motivation to a lot of people out there. Appreciate that. Appreciate you for having me here, you know. Like I said, seeing this, showing me, like, hey, I have a long way to go and I'm going to get there. That's awesome, mm -hmm. bro. Well, thank you again for coming on, thank bro. You. Appreciate, Appreciate that. Thank you. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it.